ties to Ukraine. Russia's latest move certainly feels like an invasion. Hannah? Yeah, so David, experts say there is no place on Earth that is completely outside the international framework. And when it comes to tensions between Ukraine and Russia, the spillover effect will directly impact things like stocks and oil prices. But what some are most worried about is a full-scale war leading to an atrocious humanitarian crisis. Disheartening, devastating. Concern is etched into Lydia McKitten's face, and at times she looks like she's holding back tears. It is incredibly frightening. This is a war. This is an invasion. It's not an incursion. It has started. This Seattle woman has family members in Ukraine, and she spent almost a year doing humanitarian work in a country now threatened by a potential full scale attack by Russia. Effective, severe sanctions are what is going to stop Putin. Lydia is with the Ukrainian Association of Washington. She's calling congressional leaders lobbying for sanctions. And right now, the world is watching. Even if you don't have personal ties to Eastern Europe, experts say all Americans should care. It will have direct impacts on the stock market, supply chain, oil prices, and the list doesn't end there. The extension of a war and a possible miscalculation uh, that could lead to a wider war that actually threatens a potential nuclear war, which is a disaster for everyone. That, that's what worries me. The U.S. is calling Russia's takeover of Ukraine's Donbass region an invasion. The area in red in eastern Ukraine is controlled by Russian-backed separatists and could open the gate to all of Ukraine and beyond. For Putin, the collapse of the Soviet Union was a disaster and he's trying to reclaim at least some of it. And the most important parts are Belarus, which actually has almost been annexed. It's now a dependency of Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine is the buffer between Russia and Europe. And with that buffer gone, the instability in uh, Europe uh, rises significantly. The significance and is not lost on Dan Shiro, who was born in the 40s in the midst of World War II. If we are shown to not support our natural allies, then we're on our own and the world will close in on us. That was true in 1940 and it's even truer today. As you just heard, many are calling for strict sanctions. And as we know, President Biden did just impose sanctions, essentially cutting off Western financing to Russia. And the Ukrainian Association of Washington says they are reviewing the details of those sanctions, but it is unclear to them if it will de-escalate the situation. Guys, back to you. Hannah, thank you.